Hi, so my name is Luke and I'm here today on Sydenham Street in Toronto uh, showing you uh, what is going to be my latest flip. So why don't you follow me in and I will show you the issues we're going to have with this property. One of the great things about this house, this is an easy property. The carpet's going to be pulled up, we're going to get new floors. As we walk over here, you're going to notice there's been several plumbing leaks in this house. You'll also notice the kitchen's over here. Uh, very cut off, very poor layout. We have an eat-in area here in the kitchen. Uh, right now it's really wasted space, but we want to bring the kitchen right across. So why don't we go downstairs? So you can see this is not a large room, but uh, in a house like this, close to the city, uh, being able to bring this space into a usable space is going to help a lot. The great thing about this is that there is a garage right here. A bit of cleaning up in here, we're just going to paint the walls and actually epoxy the floors. It will make it look like a million bucks. Now let's, uh, let's head upstairs. So one of the issues we're going to have in this house is all these railings, four stories worth, we're going to take them off, we're going to repaint all the spindles, and then we're going to cap the top of this in wood. Uh, there's also some issues with some of the stairs, and there's going to be some repairs needed. Let's go upstairs. The smallest of the bedrooms here um, has also had the most damage. There's no ceiling. The bathroom upstairs has leaked in several spots. Here we have the first full bathroom. You can see that the floor, there's some softness to it because we have a uh, toilet has been leaking or was leaking previously. Over here, this is almost like the first master bedroom. Um, there's a deck above us, so uh, that'll stop the leaking here and we can just fix this, close it in. Now this is the actual master bedroom, the third floor of the house. As you can see, it looks like it's been, uh, someone was smoking up here. That's gonna take a bit of work to get out and make sure that the smell does not come back. Wonderful thing here, we have an ensuite. So what I want to do is kind of separate here so we'll have a master closet. And then when we open up this side, rather than a pocket door here, we can open this up and then we're gonna have the master ensuite bathroom. Now, why don't we go outside and take a look at the balcony? It just needs a lot of repairs. We need to pull this all up because we know that the room underneath is leaking. We absolutely need a new roof. We're gonna need new gutters, soffits, siding, everything. The top of the chimney here is crumbling. So what we're gonna to have to do is bring in a mason to rebuild part of the chimney. Let's go outside and take a look at the back of the house that needs some work. You can see here, there's a ton of vines on this house and we need to take care of them. Not only are the vines blocking windows, but it's damaging the brick, it's damaging the siding on this house and on the neighbor's house. We're back at Sydenham for our final reveal. Renovations just finished and we are ready to go inside and take a look at the fully renovated house. The transformation here is incredible. We've changed up the space entirely. Uh, you can see starting from the living room, we've made a window seat, uh, exposed the fireplace and dressed it up. Uh, hardwood floors throughout, pot lights throughout the whole main floor. This kitchen, we've doubled it in size. Beautiful quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, beautiful and custom made for the space with crown molding. Let's go back down and look at the basement. You can see we've completely finished the space. That includes, uh, we've closed in the furnace and hot water tank, uh, drywalled in the ceilings. We have brand new washer dryer. We have a brand new furnace as well. We've replaced the furnace and air conditioner. You can see a brand new Keep Right furnace. Let's take a look at the garage. So all we've done in the garage is clean it up. Really just made the garage a more usable space and a bit more comfortable once again. Let's go upstairs. One of the more expensive renovations we did in this home was um, actually capping the stairs, which turned out beautifully and it was definitely worth it. Come on up. In this corner, we've created a space where there wasn't one before. This is just a little extra den. We've also added a window here for natural light to come into the hallway. This is the smallest bedroom, probably a child's room. Perfectly ready for anyone to use and uh, everything you need. I love what we've done in the bathrooms. It's completely changed the space. Beautiful modern vanity and we've done this beautiful marble floors. This is another room that would be large enough to be a master. Uh, yet this is actually the second bedroom. There's a good sized closet, a lot of floor area, a nice bow window. Let's go upstairs. Welcome to your beautiful master bedroom. You have a large room with hardwood floors, now separated from the hallway where it wasn't before. As you can see, we've extended the beautiful marble floors all through here, the marble threshold. Uh, we've also gone with the glass doors, which both uh, look modern, but also make the space feel bigger. And over here we have our 
Walk-in closet. Obviously shelving could be added depending on what you want to configure or shoe racks. Now let's go take a look at the deck. So we've really fully revamped this space. Everything, not only the deck boards, but the flat roof underneath has been redone. We've rebuilt the chimney, repainted the siding. We have a new roof on it as well. Let's go take a look at the outside. So you might be able to see over here that we've removed the huge amount of vines that were on the house. So the house is in much better condition than it was.